the title of this paper uh, deals with Kenaf uh, seed and its potential food and medical uses. Uh, due to circumstances, I will be presenting this paper on behalf of uh, Dr. Van der Westhuizen. Uh, if you look at uh, Kenaf seed, uh, it's a very small seed. Uh, and uh, the plants reach maturity after flowering and seed can be extracted from the capsules and uh, it's usually done towards the colder months. Uh, it's, uh, the plant is a, uh, in the family Malfasia. It's one of the Malfasia families. This is also the plant family within which we have cotton and uh, okra and it is grown worldwide as an annual crop. And it is mainly grown for its fiber. It is a rapidly growing crop and it can attain a height of 3.7 to 4.3 meters. And it has a growing season of between four and five months. Uh, the trials conducted by the ARC uh, were done at Sedara, uh, the Makatini Flats in KwaZulu Natal, uh, Bethlehem in the Free State Province. Jan Kempdorp in the Northern Cape Province and Rustenburg in the Northwest Province. Uh, these trials have shown that Kenaf uh, has a wide adaptability uh, to various climatic zones and soil types in South Africa. And I might, may also add that quite recently in joint ventures between the ARC and the department, uh, we've planted Kenaf in soils ranging from high clay to sandy soils, and the plants performed really well. Uh, research efforts on fiber production uh, was based on biocomposite production, and then there was uh, uh, the recent collaboration with the Northwest Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, uh, the University of South Africa, and the University of Northwest in Potsdam has now prompted the development of seed uh, for human health and nutrition. Uh, if you look at the content, uh, the essential amino acid content that we find in this crop, uh, it has all the essential amino acids. The protein content is quite high and it is actually a crop that needs to be noted for its nutrition, nutritional contribution and its potential as a food security uh, provider on the African continent. The seed is harvested uh, from uh, the flower capsules and it can be ground into flour. Uh, you can also uh, extract, quite easily extract uh, milk from it, uh, plant-based milk. Uh, then also the defatting process is where the oil is removed uh, seeds contain 20% uh, oil and the oil is edible and is also uh, highly nutritious. If you look at the uh, seed milk extraction, uh, basically the process that you follow is soaking, then you grind the seed, uh, you have uh, you discard your solids obviously, addition of emulsifier and sugars and then bottling and, and pasteurization. And the milk compares favorably with almond milk in terms of its protein, it's got a nutty taste and it has great potential. If you look at the chemical composition of uh, several of your Kenaf uh, seed varieties, uh, you can note that uh, the moisture content and uh, the crude protein can be as high as 30.5% for Kenaf uh, QP3. And uh, then you also, uh, need, we need to also look at uh, the cultivars that are mentioned here, the varieties, you, uh, QP3, uh, V36, uh, Kenaf KB6, and Kenaf C14 are uh, cultivars that come from, uh, that originate from Italy. And then Kenaf seed oil, is uh, often compared also to soybean oil. I've just mentioned that it has similar proper, uh, protein to almond oil. Uh, and uh, the seed has 20% oil. Uh, the oil has a lower linoleic acid and linoleic acid content. 
the higher oleic acid and the and it has a higher oleic acid uh, content than soy oil. Oleic acid might improve heart conditions by lowering cholesterol and reducing inflammation. Uh, Kenoff oil possesses a cytotoxic activity with cell death against ovarian cancer cells and uh, also colon cancer cell uh, line HD23. It also decreases blood serum cholesterol levels, uh, including the ratio of uh, low density lipoprotein to high density lipoprotein uh, in the serum. So it promotes uh, a positive cholesterol. And then a study uh, uh, aimed at uh, the investigation of the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of defected kin of seed. This is now after the oil had been removed the seed meal and its phenolic saponin uh, rich extract uh, PSRE in hypercholesterolemic uh, uh, rats. Uh, this study was done uh, by Chan uh, et al. and uh, uh, in uh, DKSM defatted uh, uh, Kenaf uh, the seed uh, meal and PSRE are prospective functional food ingredients for the potential mitigation of uh, atherogenic risks and hypercholesterolemic uh, uh, individuals. So this can significantly improve the health of uh, individuals that suffer from uh, cholesterol problems. Uh, extrusion of kenna flour and uh, Kenna flour may be combined also in recipes with other traditional grains. Uh, might be possible. It's never been attempted. Uh, it might be added here also that uh, Kenna uh, flour does uh, not contain any gluten, which makes it uh, easier to uh, mix with traditional uh, uh, flours. And also the gluten-free markets in the world are uh, expanding rapidly. If uh, one looks at the global use of kenaf seed and seed flour as a gluten-free food source, uh, it's very high in antioxidants. And uh, in the picture, you can see the calibration of a twin screw uh, 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 extruder, uh, which is uh, done in Potsdam. And uh, this is one of the processes that we still need to look at to see what food products can be developed for value chain development of this crop. Uh, in my conclusions, I would just like to say that uh, consumers are become, becoming more interested in naturally healthy foods. The health industry in the world is currently exploding. It's one of the rapidly developing markets. And this creates an opportunity uh, for crops with uh, properties such as kenaf. The potential uh, for uh, kenaf seed as a source of food-based products has not been exploited in South Africa at all. Uh, yet the potential exists for this uh, crop and for seed products to be included in uh, numerous uh, food products and also a wide range of food products. Uh, I would like to leave you with these thoughts. Uh, thank you.